Ariane. Ariane. I don't know. Hi, I'm Tara. I'm going to be doing your um, reading for the um, Lionsgate 2022. We are going to be doing the Gateway of Light Activation by Kyle Gray. And we're going to get some messages from our archangels and our angels. And we're going to see what frequency we are in with the Martian deck oracle deck. So this is for Sagittarius and Aries. We already did Leo, so we're going to do two today. All right. I love you. Love you. Stop coming right now. So very far away. Far, far away. We are listening to the Lionsgate Portal 2022 um, frequency of abundance gate activation. And um, it's 888 hertz frequency. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I keep tripping over the Supreme Court serving nuts. Then I'll just say none of these are going to do. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. I think I'm blenching the table. Just don't go to the table. Oh, sorry. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the unicorn color because it's light out here and I don't think it works. So, um, we, I am activated already with love and light, a white light, pure divine. Blue light, pure love, green light, Archangel Raphael's energy healing, and a certain master Saint Germain's violet flame protection shield. That is our um, law of one protection. We are, we are love and light. Okay, we're gonna see who's we're gonna do first: Sagittarius or Aries. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. It's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. Burn some sage, Palo Santo, and some frankincense. If you haven't been on this, my channel yet, or if you have and you watch this a million times and you're not subscribed, it's not helping me. <laughs> um, use this as hopefully my career in my in future because I need to work and I'm gonna have to quit doing this soon. And I won't be posting any more videos. So if you can't donate or get a personal reading um, with currency money, um, if you at least subscribe, like, and share my videos, 
if you get other people to watch, I speak my truth. I would love for anyone to try to debunk anything that I'm trying to do. We can, you know, figure it out because I like to know. If I'm wrong at doing something, please tell me I'm wrong, you know? Like burning matches around this thing. Okay. We have Egyptian Sun God Ra is delivering the messages for you guys um, for this Lion's Gate. We also have Queen of the Nile, Queen of the Teens in the House, and we also have Beautiful Goddess. Cleopatra. They are all welcome to be here. So, hopefully, they are all here. Oh my god. It's all three of you here right now. Yes, they're all. Isn't that awesome? first this is Gemini Libra Cancer <laughs> Aries Aries are next <laughs> all right I'm actually gonna roll the dice for you and the numbers for you to see what zodiac symbols and if the numbers resonate they resonate if they don't they don't this whole entire message doesn't have to resonate for you at all um this is for anybody that has sagittarius in their um, birth chart so it's not for a specific um part of your chart there could be just one message in here that is for you as soon as i hit the record button the messages have started um, the way I act, the way I do things, the way I talk, is always, it's a message for you. Okay. Oh! Jeez. I'm just going to have to show doing them a little differently this time. It's whatever card uh, flips over um, first and lays down is the card I'm going to take. I'm not going to always do it like that, but right now, that's what I'm making it do. I like to ask them if there's anything I need to know before I start also with the angel cards and stuff like that. It's nice.
don't stop, get it, get it. for the Lionsgate portal 2022, the biggest day of the year. Very nice. Whatever card lands on the table for October 1st. If my intuition really feels I should pick up that card, I will. signs and what numbers does Aries need to know for this Lions Gate 2022? You got Pisces, you got Aquarius, you got Libra. You got four four three two. Four four three two. Pisces is illusions is illusions. Mm -hmm. Libra is the justice card, um, government. And Aquarius is just an artist that's very aloof in their head and their world. Do one more because we only had three um, zodiacs. So let's do one more. So yeah. Gemini. I, I, I. Let's see what energy is Aries in for this Lion's Gate. One card, one card only. What's the energy for Aries? It says first card that lands on the table, so it would actually be this card. Oh, you be that card. Sorry. 
23, the vegans, solitude, independent, and peace. Your energy is the vegan energy. What energy is um, surrounding? Um, Pisces at this What's the energy around Aries? Clear the energy. Alchemy, the Philosopher's Stone, Infinity, Destiny, Magic. That's the energy that's around you. That's awesome. That's good energy to have around you. What energy does such um, Pisces have to look out for? So we had the evens, we had Oh my goodness. Sorry. So, do we do um, what energy needs, what you need to look out for? Can I do that? Oh, the Vesca Piscus. Actually, the Octorians. Manifesting multidimensional perception attunement. That is. Um, to me manifesting something continuously and you gotta just watch out for them. All right, what do the angels have to say to our Aries? Ooh. I did say on the table, so You know, how can I do that to you? I don't even know where it is now. It was abundance. <laughs> but I said on the table, it has to flip over. Okay. Success, success, success. These cars are like falling apart. The answer is no. Notice something. 
there's some kind of recovery period that you need to do first. No need to worry. Compromise. Forgiveness. You might need to forgive. Let's see what the Archangels have to say to you. Oh my God. Archangels for Aries. Breathe. Archangel Raphael says, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So this is how I do I go four in, hold four, out four. So do you feel it in your lower gut? When your gut fills up with air, you hold it. And then when you blow it out, you blow it out super duper hard, you know? No, excuse me. All is well. Archangel Jeremiah, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. Which hidden blessings you will with hidden blessings you will soon understand. So if things are feeling stagnant. It's okay. That's what's supposed to be happening right now. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel is I am bringing you esoter es esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Gateway of Light Activation Oracle Book. This is Kyle Gray. First card that flips over. Stellar gateway activation. Infinite, 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 infinite potential manifesting manifestation vortex. One thirty eight can mean something to you, or you can look it up as numerology number or your angels number. Premium sleep. I already feel it. 
<clears throat> Cellar gateway activation. The cellar gateway is the highest of our chakras. It is found about 12 to 24 feet, 3 to 6 meters above our head. It is the ener energetic gateway that connects us with the divine matrix. <clears throat> It governs our connections to the spiritual laws of creation in the quantum field and holds our special life potential, as it holds all the intentions that Okay. Something's happening, guys. It governs the spiritual laws of creation in the quantum field and holds our life's potential as it holds all the intentions that we set before the incarnation and the intentions we've set during it that support the ever folding path of earthly expense energetically. This portal is beyond time and space. And when we connect with it, we come into alignment and with the... Pyramid is a symbol of the rising power and how our soul has connect, is existed through lifetimes. The star gate is a projection of our own stellar gateway. This card is therefore a reminder that all things are possible and that with the right alignment we can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven on, upon earth. This card is there for a reminder that all things are possible and that we have the right alignment. We can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven upon earth. To connect. Breathe deeply. Imagine that your breath is taking you up and down, out to the connect with the feminine potential held with the stars. I connect with heaven and earth to create a heaven on earth. Do that already? Yeah, that, that was a quick thing, that.
Sagittarius is next. Very clear the energy. Okay, Sagittarius, you are next. They are putting me in a deep meditative state, and that puts me to sleep every couple minutes. I am <laughs> I'm gonna see what zodiac signs and numbers are here for you. Oh, that's clear. Sagittarius, the Lion's Gate. You got Scorpio, you got Capricorn, you got Cancer, you got 5510. 5555. Five, five, five. You got Scorpio, Cancer, and Capricorn. 5510. Alright, let's see what energy you're in with the Martian deck. Air. You may have a lot of air in your chart. Philosophy, discrimination, empathy. Okay, so you're feeling discriminated against. Hopefully it's not the other way around. What um, is a energy that's around you is the shadow self. That is the denial, projecting shame. That is the time when this time of the year we all gotta uh, go and do our shadow work. So if you're um, not doing your shadow work or people around you are not doing their shadow work and they're not ascending or being woken up, like things that maybe you know things that and you're trying to help people and nobody wants to wake up, you can't push them. They gotta do the shadow work on their own. What does um, Sagittarius need to look out for? Actually. The tall whites, the uncertainty, the stress, the guarded. Somebody's feeling guarded. Somebody's distrusting something. Somebody's not is feeling um, uncertainty about something. If you need a personal reading, um, you can message me and give details. Okay. All right. So what is the arc? What do the angels have to say to you right now, Sagittarius? Anything about the cards, about who doesn't distrust. Take action on something. Be assertive. Listen to your intuition. If you believe. Come on, you gotta believe, man. Do you believe in magic? Because there will be an opportunity for you. Okay. What do the archangels have to say?
<laughs> Clear audience. Archangel Zadkiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. You might be able to hear that's your um, gift. <laughs> Remember who you are. Archangel Michael says you are a powerful, loving, and created child of God. You are very beloved. Yes. Now let's do the activation um, Sag. One card for Sagittarius. Athor's light codes. It's supposedly Rawls I wife. Light immersion, full system upgrade, power recall. Anybody can claim all this, so it doesn't matter. Did I just lay down? Did I? I don't remember. Stop it. Lions Gate Portal 2022 Meditation Gate to Wealth and Prosperity is Endorphin Release Meditation Music. I feel like I'm falling down and going to sleep. Light codes. Hathor, also known as Heru, which means House of Horus, is an Egyptian cow and solar goddess associated with the sky and fertility. Worship of this enner, enig, enig, enigmatic figure goes all the way back to the third millennium BCE. 
Hathor is easily recognized in Egyptian art, for she often wears a sun disc on her head that is held in a place for two horns. Relating to the cow, sacred symbol of motherhood, she is the divine con consort of the hawk-headed deity Horus. Now I'm not gonna say Horus. I'm sorry. Ra, 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 ra. Let's skip that. Take Horus out of there and switch it to Ra. I love, I like this um, deck, but there's some of the things that I, uh, he, I don't agree with. So. Oh, no, I have to. Sorry. There's a good chance that they... Okay, okay, okay. Allowing her to bridge the world of the cosmic realms and bring it into the infinite light of the sun. And look, okay. She is the divine consort of the hawk-headed deity, Ra. All allowing her to bridge this world in the cosmic realms and bring in the infinite light of the sun. In this gateway, Hathor is a figurehead of an intergalactic race of beings called the Hathors. There's a good chance that that being There's a good chance that ancient Egypts were in touch with the divine race, as evidenced by that many Hathor pillars in the temple of Dendera, the the Hathors appear as elongated pillars of infinite light. Illustrating the their capacity The Hathors appear okay, um their divine mission is to activate light upon the earth, interlinked with both the energy of the central sun and Venus. They bestow solar light power. Their divine mission is to activate light upon Earth, interlinked with both the energy of the central sun and Venus. They bestow solar light blessings and ignite the ener energy and the unconditional love between them. When you use to, when you receive this card, know how they are. When you see this card, know they are ushering in great blessings. Connect. Visualize the pillar of light descending from your heart and on the midnight sky and bathing your body in infinite light. Chant or call Hathor, Hathor, Hathor to, dark, to draw the Hathorian energy towards you. Is there an aspect of your life that needs 
to think of now. Okay. Here we go. This is a late immersion. If you're experiencing a full system upgrade, the infinite solar light of the Hathors is surrendering the cow. It's surrounding. Okay, no. What, what did I just say? The infinite soul light of the Hathors is surrounding you now. <laughs> this is a time of expansion and excitement. You are filled with unlimited potential. The gifts that were once in the darkness of now being brought into light. The parts of your story is true. This is a late immersion. You're experiencing a full system upgrade. The infinite soul light of the Hathors is surrounding you by you now. This is a time of expansion and excitement. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. I love you all. Love and light. Good night.